Hello. Hi, YouTube. Hi, Twitch chat. Welcome back. We are back on Alan Wake 2 New Game Plus. So this is my second playthrough, first playthrough of NG Plus, but second playthrough of Alan Wake. So feel free to talk about theories, spoilers, exciting things from the first playthrough, like from the first run of it. Anything you want. This is going to be a spoiler zone as we go through and find new things, hopefully, that we missed. And then tiny little touches that they've changed. Some new manuscript pages and some new videos. And then a new ending, apparently. So, I'm ready to keep going. So, oh, we just finished pretty much the intro. And Alan's awake now. So we got to the lake with Saga and Casey and Alan came out. So that's where we are. I'm missing something. Oh. Need to look at the case board. What? Who are you? What is this? Who are you? Hear me. I'm Saga Anderson, FBI. I can hear you. Cauldron Lake. Yes, I'm at Cauldron Lake. Where are you? I to escape. In danger. The dark presence. Danger. Thanks. Got it. Our first interaction in the overlap. Are you okay? Oh, well, no. her side. It's my fault. It got out with my face. Scratch. Sir, calm down. I'm gonna need you to take a breath. He's he's changed the story. The dark presence. We must stop it before. Easy now. First things first. What's your name? My name is Alan Wake. I'm a writer. I, I've been... Wake? Where did you come from? You've been missing for 13 years. I've been swimming. 13. 13. <laughs> I love it. <sighs> Alright, we already listened to this song at the end of the last one. We can just listen to a sec of it. We usually listen to the whole song, but we just listen to it, so... Um, in the dark, my was a bird made a promise that I'm coming out alive. Raging heart. Um, no, I don't have a guide, I'll just find it. You guys will help me. I will never lose myself again. I just want to hear the chorus. I was calling you. Did you hear? I lost my way, lost my way. like a million times it's probably going through the freaking spiral a million times looping and looping and looping and looping for 13 years and then forgetting it and starting over jesus taking me over we listened to it last time we'll listen to the other ones where did you go all of a sudden the radio stopped working and then that flooding just disappeared a crazy forest is this who I think it is? Yeah. Casey, say hello to Alan Wake. Mr. Wake, this is Special Agent Alex Casey. He'll escort you to our car. Casey, I'll meet you there right after I take a look around. If the flooding's receded, there might be evidence we missed earlier. Okay, 
Oh yeah. Okay. See you there. True. Optional. Okay, so. Alex, Casey, how? <laughs> Am I still? Is this the dark place? Oh yeah. No, it can't be. I got out. Because he sees Alex in his dark place. Yeah, the PI from your books has the same name as me. <laughs> Great. Moving on. Because... It's a bit of a hike to the car, Wake. Get your bearings, then we'll head out. I just... I, I need another minute. Cauldron Lake. I thought I'd never see this place again. Take your time. But you should know these woods aren't the safest. Yeah. Uh, oh, my eye. It's getting dark. You have a flashlight? It's not safe without a light. You need a flashlight. I have a light. <laughs> and a gun. You can relax, Wake. And pages. If you see pages of writing anywhere, you <laughs> must take them and keep them safe. Our lives could depend on it. They have vital information. We know about the pages, Wake. We'll keep an eye out for them. Okay. Okay, just give me a moment. It's okay. Take your time. Oh my gosh, because we know he's gone through like his crazy loop. Like, because oh, then he gets out. But we've only found like one, two pages so far. No, not we've found more than that, but we're still at our beginning of our story. And he's like, it's crazy. Um, so like the first, the whole first playthrough, I was still like so confused because I didn't know if Alex Casey was real or not or like what. But so Alex Casey's a real person like in the world. But I, but like there's theories or people say that like Alan Wake wrote about him because like somehow maybe clairvoyantly or just like because of this connection having to happen. I don't even know is why he even wrote about him in the first place and wrote about like him being so similar to a real life person because well well I would think it was because he ends up being who he writes about to help him get out but then changes it to Saga like in this in the and in, in Alan Wake 2 it was supposed to be Casey the hero right but then he changes it to Saga so maybe like from the beginning like that's why he even wrote about him because it was just how it had to be I don't know it's crazy it's so crazy I mean maybe that's part of being a para utilitarian is having like some clairvoyance too I don't even know does he look like that Sam Lake guy kind of a little bit and Alan seemed to indicate that he can't create anyone he can only make changes to their story Ooh, okay. Yeah. Okay, also... Interesting thing about Thomas Zane. I guess we could talk about this later whenever we see Thomas Zane. But... How we all thought he was a poet. Like, he, he was a poet, but then it was changed to him being a filmmaker. But in Control, in the game Control, Jesse says something. I don't remember, I guess, but... I saw people talk about it, that Jesse says something where she's like, oh, I always remembered him being a poet when, like, she read something in the AWE DLC. I, tell me if that's right or not, but it, but Jesse, I guess, is like, oh, I remembered him as a poet, not a filmmaker. Which is interesting because since she's a para-utilitarian, <laughs> people who don't know what is going on, are, you're not going to know anything I'm saying. I'm so sorry. So then maybe she's not affected like... Saga, well, I don't know if Saga's a pair utilitarian or not, technically. But Saga's not as affected by the story. That's why she can say, like, she knows that Logan, her daughter, is alive. Is alive. Because she knows the truth. Where am I going? Do I go under that? I think I go under that. Um, Jesse quotes a Tom Zane poem in her therapy sessions. That's what it was. Okay. Psychiatrist says she can't find any poet by that name. Okay, that's what it was. <laughs> Hi, Wyson. No, never. Not me. And now I'm wide awake. The deer. Um. 
Yeah, like a weird Mandela thing going on with Zane. There's like two versions of him or something. Yeah. And I think it's maybe because of the dark place. Or, not scratch, I don't know. Or however he gets rewritten. So that, like, how Logan is getting rewritten to be dead. Saga's daughter. When she's not really, like, changing reality. Also, oh my gosh, there's so much with... Also, yell at me if I miss a new manuscript page or something, please. You can tell me, like, if I'm if I like, run by one, because I missed the one at the very beginning. I ended up getting it in part one, but I am a silly goose, so... I'm also nerding out, so I might miss stuff. She also said she thought he was a poet in DLC after a leavening spiral door in Ocean View Motel. Oh, okay. He changed just so he's a filmmaker? Why? Why would he do that? I think he did. Remember, they look like us, but they aren't. They're like animals, and it's our job to hunt them and gut them. They're talking about the taken. Original explanation was that Tom Zane wrote himself out of existence before jumping to the lake. Ooh. Okay. It's also so interesting to see all the... Like, we've already seen so many similarities between Barbara Jagger and Thomas Zane and Alice and Alan. With their situations. Both their situations in the dark place. Um, Give Me Your University has the best element control theory videos. Really? I think I've watched one of theirs. I can't remember which one. What's this one? Is this new? Now I'm wide awake. Nope. Oops. He'd been on the trail of the writer forever. The writer he despised. Hemingway, Bukowski, Wake. Hmm. I'll get you. I'll find you. I'll make you pay. You're in over your head. He descended into the tunnels from the dark city, into the ocean of darkness. Next stop, Caldera Street Station. Something, a presence, rumbled. Not a train. Shadows shifted on the platform. The writer's cult waited for him there. The cult of the word. A cultist leaned close. I carry his words close to my chest now. You're not allowed in the lake until he says otherwise. He'd be caught. Murdered. They got him. They didn't get him. <laughs> he was reborn out of hate. He was there. But he was risen. Sent to find the light switch up from the lake that was not the lake. <laughs> the, the owl, the judgmental look of the owl. <laughs> he just knows all. We're just like, we don't know anything. This game is so dark. Where am I going? Hello, I see. No, we just started. Alan just got out of the lake and we were talking about theories and stuff. Talking about lore. But yeah, so that's or to go back to that. Hold on. I'm saving. Oh god. Wait, no, I don't want jump scares. I think the jump scares are different in Energy Plus. At least in the first part they felt different. But yeah, so the people who have like powers or somehow are able to remember the truth or reality rather than the rewritten stories. Makes sense. Oh my gosh, we're already here to win this. Look. It's fine. Definitely. Oh! Joe just loves me. You can't come in here. Even the animals are turning into monsters. Oh, why did I think? Oh wait, you can loot some stuff sometimes. 
All right, let's go down here real quick. I guess we could just grab stuff that's easy to grab. I'm not gonna do full exploration like I did in the first playthrough, unless there's something like I know where I missed or like to find the new stuff, I guess. The cult is leaving supplies around for themselves. Is that key over here? Well, I just hit my mouse. Did I turn off my stream? No, okay. <laughs> Now I can't wait to do We Sing again. I should do a save right before We Sing so I can just... Oh yeah, it is right here. So I can just play it over and over again forever. <laughs> Have I ever turned off stream by accident? Maybe once or twice? No, I don't know. Oh gosh, did we jinx it? I don't know. Taking me over. The cult is watching right now. Well, good. I don't care. I love the cult. Show me the. T oh my god, no! <laughs> I love that emote. It's so perfect for it. Oh, yeah. True. I'm just on hard though, so it should be fine. Yeah. I mean, if I go, I'll. If I find lunchboxes on the way. I feel like I remember where most of them are anyway. So it's like if I go. Ah. Old rubber boot. Whose boot? I cannot see. Why is it so dark here? Also, I don't know what or I feel like I don't know what I'm gonna do. I might do. Can we even go over here? I missed a manuscript page and two containers right there. All right, we'll come over here later. Oh my God, I forgot I have the charm that's marking everything. That's actually so nice. That saves my life. Oh my God, no control two makes me so happy. I'm so excited. Diving deep to the surface. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. I missed Bryce. <laughs> Is there a scene? Oh god darn. Children Lake General Store! Hehe. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, back to what I was doing. Hi, Soupy. How you doing? Concept of Thomas Zane goes back to Death Rally Remedy's first game, in which a character named True Tom Reimer, Reimer is a, in a poet, talks to the player via the car radio. It's crazy. What? I didn't know that. That is crazy. Back at Witch's Ladle, Saga pointed the flashlight at the strange, dark substance. The same substance Nightingale had left at the morgue. There was something hidden under it. She strained to see the opposite of sunspots in her eyes blacker than black suddenly a change the light reacted to the substance a feedback loop surging up her arm saga squeezed the flashlight willing it to penetrate the dark matter burn it away also wait Okay, so I saw something else where people were saying that like in the whole first part of the game or some, or some part that Saga was only written in, like it was crossed out, but well, this is a new one. But yeah, I guess Saga is written out or crossed out and written. 
crossed out and written, crossed out and written. This doesn't even have. But then like after it's typed, like she's not, she's in it. I don't know if that's true though. Or I guess it would be because I had to go back and edit to make it be Saga. Yeah, Deja Vu and Dark Poem. Yeah, that's all I've found that's new so far. Where the heck is this other container? Oh, is it just this and it's not? Am I silly? Am I silly? Yeah, okay. Well, I'm not silly. I think it's because something is like in there, but it's not. The scratch wrote, okay, the edited pages that scratch wrote, she is handwritten. The clean pages with Saga are added by Alan later. Okay, that's what I thought. I, think I thought that's what I read. That's so cool, that's so cool, it's so cool. All right, we will go. Maybe when we come back here. But there's a manuscript page there. There's so much. Because then we'll have to go to Witchfinder Station anyway if we do that. Possibly. But for now, what do we... Oh my god, thank you for auto-filling at least a little bit. Bless you. Nightingale goes missing for 13 years, shows up murdered, and then turns into a monster. After I stop Nightingale, a rider who's also been missing for 13 years turns up. Whoa. What's the connection? What kind of case is this? Closed case. I like how I went into my mind place when I was two feet out of the safe zone. <laughs> That's funny. Alright, so we can just go... I mean, I guess I could go over there. Wow, it really shows you where everything is. That's so nice. Nah, we'll come back. Wait, there was a manuscript page on that beach I missed? You're lying. Oh my god, what is wrong with me? It's not my fault that they- Wait, I swear I picked that one up. Oh no, wait, I picked up one over here. Oh, it's not new? Okay, we're fine then. Wait, and I missed a container over there? No, that's the one I got. That was the cult stash. Why is it not, what, like, checking them off? Also, wait, I don't think I can get back down there anyway. Oh, wait, can I go through here? <gasps> ah! Oh my god. All right, we'll worry about that later. That's for future saga. You can. Not your pet. Oh yeah, right here. Not your pet wolf. Well, maybe you should put it on a leash. Ever think about that? Oh yeah, the red was right here or right there, not here. Dude, that sound is freaky. Wait, do we go to Coffee World first? Is that like what you do first? This is so weird. Wait. If I... What am I talking about? 
Okay, see, that is the one I found, isn't it? Maybe not. Yeah. No. I lied. I must have missed this one both times. Maybe. The reality changing influence of the dark place flowed like water flowed, like fear flowed, down the path of least resistance, eroding the weak spots until they cracked. In places where reality was more yielding, where a story told and retold, imagination sparked and fear ignited again and again, had softened the walls of reality. Sites of violence and tragedy, where truth was laced with fiction, where a work of art proposed an alternative narrative, something people could suspect to be true, something people felt strongly about, something they feared. The stronger the connection between the belief and emotional response, the better, the darker, the better. A ghost of a witch ripping a man's heart from his chest, two brothers murdering the neighbors and hiding their bodies in a well, a young woman haunting the flooded bunker where she drowned. Bedtime stories, folk tales, urban legends connected to a specific place. These were the sites where the overlaps came to be. That's fun. This part, <laughs> this is a fun one because it spoils the story. <laughs> so true. That's awesome. Where we're Kavar proposed an alternate narrative. That's funny. I feel like I didn't get that one the first time. Show me the tip of life. That's funny. So true, though. That literally just told us where all the overlaps are. Excellent. Perils of darkness. Hi, Torch. Is Quantum Break just a sci fi story that Alan Wake wrote? No, I don't think so. I think it's just an alternate reality. At the ranger station, it does the same thing. That's it, I'm going over there. Is this even the ranger station? What is the ranger station? I'm going over there. I can't resist. It'll take two seconds. Because it's just this little part. Oh yeah, that's Witchfinder. Hi, Navaris. We can't go up there yet, but... I went the wrong way. No, I didn't. Um, no. I feel like Quantum Break... Oh my god, I'm so sad. I want them to make Quantum Break 2 so bad. That was awesome. Such a cool setup. Wow. Um, there's something written here. A poem? No, um, or a riddle. I can't talk. A little clothespin doll. Like multiverse. Perfect weird souvenir for Logan. I don't think you should give her anything from here. This stuff is. Reminds cursed. me of the nursery rhymes I read to Logan when she was little. One bird for light, two for darkness, three birds for a fight, four for a shot. What do I even have? A bird? I'm a genius. Something feels different. I should look around. Oh, thank you, Crow. Excuse me? Is my inventory full or am I not allowed to take more charms? Because I already have got all the charms. Quantum Break is a Tim Breaker dream. Uh, I can't open my inventory. I can't open my inventory. Uh oh. What is an alternate way to get to my inventory besides the inventory button? Yo, what the heck? <laughs> I 
I want to go 15 minutes ago? <laughs> she tried turning your inventory. I've had a lot of inventory. I've two. I've had two inventory. Something feels different. I should look around. Uh oh. Am I a silly goose? Yeah, I'm a silly goose. <laughs> Listen, I swear it was I. <laughs> Why is it not I for inventory? <laughs> okay, but I can't take the charm because I already have it probably. So these are useless to do even though they're fun. So, I guess... New brain patch. Dude, I'm changing it. That's silly. <laughs> uh, where is it? Inventory. I My inventory works! <laughs> okay, so... Well, we don't even have to worry about these then. Oh, they're fun though. I wish I could do a million puzzles at forever. I love puzzles. Is it a difficult game? It's not too bad. You just gotta get used to it. Just like every game, it can be like a little bit awkward at first, but um, it's not too hard. And you can turn the difficulty down too, so. Just hot fixed it, yeah. Oh, I need the screwdriver. See, I didn't even need to come here yet. I just want this manuscript page. I wish they started you with the screwdriver right away. I guess we'll just turn this place on. They also fixed that chair. It was glitchy in different colors. Good game. Heck yeah. Great game. I love it. Hello. More math puzzles, oh gosh. Cult of the tree. Very scratched out, completely scratched out paragraph. Children in Bright Falls all grew up hearing stories about the cult of the tree. Feral maniacs living in the woods. Satanists chanting, we watch in the night as they perform blood sacrifices in the forests. Or things not quite human lurking in the dark. There were many versions of the story, but they all shared one important element. Danger in the dark, in the woods. Somewhere among all the urban legends lay a secret truth. The real identity of the cultists prowling in the woods. Real faces hid behind the masks. Real hands held the knives. Real people fulfilling a grim purpose. We know who they are. The forest was not safe. People were right to keep their children away from the trees. But not because of the cult. The forest was not safe. They were right to keep their children away from the trees. But not because of the cult. Because of the taken. A dark presence. For different reason, you know. Show me the champion of love. Go in there. I don't need you yet. I don't need you. I don't die. I did it. I don't even another one of those rhymes. But do we even have another oh yeah. Well those don't matter. We just gotta do story. Um the intro is different. The intro video. Call sesh. All right, we'll come back. The intro video is different, and then there's just been a couple of new manuscript pages so far. 
Am I familiar with the SCP Foundation? I've heard you guys say SCP Foundation before from this, or from Remedyverse or Extended Remedyverse, but I don't... I don't remember. I don't know. I don't think so. Are they spoilers for something? Are they in like Max Payne or something? Should I know about that? SCP. Because I've seen a few people say that. And I'm like, I still haven't still seen anything <laughs> about them that I know of. So I was like, I don't even know who that is. SCP inspiration? Like, uh, FBCs and stuff. <clears throat> what? Ah. <laughs> Excuse me. All right, did it count that? Optional investigate. Okay, let's go to... Back to Bright Falls, please. Oh, it's like a game. SCP is. Oh, was a wiki of collaborative. Oh. Wait, does that have to do with that blog post that was made by like a remedy dev, or is that something different? Oh, I'm scared. Where am I going? I got lost. I'm just running. I already got the lunchbox up here. Oh no, okay, that's something else. Okay, so that's just some other game that has nothing to do with Remedy, is what you guys are telling me. I went the wrong way. Do you have to go back on the buzzer? Oh, I guess you could go all the way around like that. Oh, it even marks lunchboxes? That is so nice for a second playthrough. Oh, okay, cool. That's fun. I like that. But no, I haven't seen it. You scared me. Watch this. Oh, I was trying to get us back. You're lying. <laughs> Good job, Saga. Hell yeah. Now keep moving. Queen. Is this even right? Am I okay? I'm lost. FBC buzzer. I can't believe we didn't actually look at that in the other playthrough. I know, I just felt like, <laughs> I just felt like I was in Resident Evil for a sec. That was super exciting. Uh-oh. Now the AWE. We reached the car, Anderson. How's it going down there? Oh. I think I'm down here. I'll meet you at the parking lot. Oh. I felt so Resident Evil-y there, that was so funny. Uh-oh, active. Active AWE in progress. Now we've got the BC buzzers Warning. going off. Activity detected. AWE. <laughs> Event in progress. Cauldron Lake. What's an AWE? Well, Saga. Casey. What exactly does the FBC do? After New York, when I started looking for our friend here, their name came up. I pushed them for any files they had on him, but got stonewalled. They have a reputation of showing up for 
weird shit. <laughs> they have a presence here, and now we find our writer. How about that? How about that? Maybe they should be taking care of this then. Just kidding, we're good. Maintenance. Raccoons. Can't get into it anymore. Well, Saga, AWE is Altered World Event. Where some... I feel like I said the same exact thing. I feel like I said the same exact thing in the first playthrough. That's gonna be so funny because I don't know what I... Like, I don't remember. But then I feel like I probably say the same stuff when I discover the same stuff. <laughs> Why is Casey not helping me? He's busy. Um... He was busy escorting our new friend, Alan Wake, to the car. That's a very important job. Yeah, and he's smart. You ready to go? Yeah, sure. Oh, I thought that was a note. Or a manuscript page. Yeah, I'm ready. Let's go. I'll drive. Mr. Wake, we're taking you back to our field office in Bright Falls. You can freshen up there, and then we'll talk properly. Okay, Red. So true, Zeph. Everybody needs to watch Dr. Darling's if Hey, Mom, videos for before them. you see anything, I'm totally fine. Huh? Don't freak out. Dad shouldn't have even texted you. Logan? No one texted me. What's going on? I'm totally fine. Uh... I slipped. That's all. God, it's not the end of the world. Put your father on the phone. Um, okay. Dad, it's Mom. Don't worry, hun. Logan slipped in the shower and bumped her head. She has a slight concussion, but I'm keeping an eye on her. Lucky I heard her fall. She could have drowned. Jesus, David. Why didn't you call? I tried. It didn't go through. She's fine, really. But what about you? You sound stressed. No, it's uh, just a weird case, that's all. Well, if you need a hint, my years of board game victories tell me Colonel Mustard did it. <laughs> I'll, I'll keep an eye out for him. <laughs> Love you, Dave. Love you too, honey. Mm. Wanna say bye to Logan? Just tell her I love her. Bye for now. Is that the last time we talked to her? No, I don't think, maybe not. Is that? Hi, Limey, thank you too. Love it. I should have worn that shirt. I say that every time. You all right? Is there anyone you'd like us to reach out to, Mr. Wake? You've been gone a long time. No. No. If they'd be in danger, it'll come for me. Okay. Let's talk about something else. Robert Nightingale. Do you know him? You were both here in 2010. The Dark Presence got him, back then. That's the last time I saw him. Thirteen years. Oh, fuck me. Tell us about the pages. You had what looks like a title page with you. Return. Is this the name of the story on these pages? The writer's name has been scratched out pretty violently. But your name can still be made out underneath. <laughs> scratched out. <laughs> yeah. Scratch. <laughs> Did you write these pages, Mr. Wake? I'm trying to remember. It's, it's, it's a crazy jumble, like a, like a nightmare. I, it doesn't, it doesn't make sense.
I remember. I remember. Oh, okay. I forgot it forces you to him first. Okay, that makes more sense because I was like... Or wait. <gasps> oh! Oh, thank you! Thank you, thank you, thank you! Welcome, welcome! We it's not we sing yet, though, right? Alan Wake is here. Alan Wake! One of my all-time favorite writers! And I think that's the, the next time you go. He's here to talk about his latest book! Oh! Yeah, that's the next scene. And as usual, our house band, the <gasps> old gods of Asgard is here. Oh, Take fuck. it away, you crazy Vikings! Is I on a talk show tonight? <laughs> Waking up in places with no memory of how I'd gotten there. It was out of control. I didn't need another mugshot in the fucking tabloids. Yeah, the black Had I already done the show? Was that a recording? Oh, you've done the show, Alan. You've done the show so many times. Also, yeah, the suit is weird. I put on the other suit, and this is this one makes him look even more like John Wick, I think. I felt a strange pull toward the TV. Did you? What about this door? All right. A warm welcome to Mr. Alan Wake. It's me. I'm Alan Wake. And Mr. Door is just a psycho. Just taunting us, I feel like. Give a warm welcome to Mr. Alan Wick. <laughs> so awkward. Oh! Right on! Good to see you, Alan. Great to see you. Welcome back to the show. Come on, come on, sit down, sit down, sit down. <laughs> welcome back to the show. Woo! Whoa, I never noticed how teal and purple the sound Oh, man. It is so good to see you, Alan. Uh, uh, this must be an exciting time for you. Tell me, does it ever get old? So does what get old? Publishing a new book. Are you okay there, my friend? You look like you've been cooped up in the writer's room for a few too many years. This is exactly how I feel. <laughs> you know, I've waited so long to get my hands on the sequel to Departure. You left us on quite the cliffhanger. <laughs> We've all been dying to know what it's not a lake, it's an ocean really means. I love that. You and me both. Well, our wait is over. Your new book, Initiation, hits the shelves tomorrow. What? That's exactly what every reader will be asking. <laughs> this book is mind-bending. It's so cerebral. I mean, how would you describe it? A an auto-fictional thought experiment? A, a, a horror story? A postmodern detective story? Wait. This isn't right. Mm. I, I haven't written anything. He's so humble. Okay, you got me. Good prank, very funny. But yeah, I sad to say, I, I, I've not written this. I, I'd remember if I'd written a book, right? Or maybe it was written by your evil double. Maybe. <laughs> well played, man! He's a that sweet. is spot on! Playing the role here! <laughs> Pretending the world of the book overlaps our own? That's very meta indeed. <laughs> You see, Initiation tells the story of a fictional writer named Alan Wake, who is trapped in a nightmare, desperately trying to find the manuscript of a novel he has forgotten he has written. The book is set in New York, but it might not be New York at all. He is tormented by his dark doppelganger and guided by visions of a fictional detective he has written. That's right, Alex Casey Literally is in this book as well. exactly what happens. I guess we'll just keep doing this the whole show. The joke's on me. But isn't that what you sign up for with autofiction? No, but seriously, I found the, the structure of the reality you build in the book fascinating. It reminded me of The Matrix. I mean, the writer is physically in his writer's room, trapped there, and he projects himself out to this dark dream of New York 
through the story he is writing. Uh, like astral projection. Did I get that right? Yeah, that's exactly right. Go on. I should be taking notes here. Uh, this is great stuff. Notes to that other Alan Wake in that room writing this as we speak? <laughs> Are we all in your story, Alan? <laughs> wow. <laughs> so no, good. I, I, I wish you every success with your new book, Alan. I hope it's as successful as your best-selling Alex Casey series. Initiation hits the shelves tomorrow. After this, I'm sure we'll all be eagerly awaiting the culmination of this hero's journey trilogy of yours. A book called Return, perhaps. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, thank you for one of the strangest interviews of my entire career, Alan. Uh -huh. All this talk of meta-narratives. I have to expect him to disappear once this scene ends. I love, I love it <gasps> so much. I love it so much. Also, the actor for Mr. Door, I got an ad yesterday. Hello? And he's British, I think. His accent's really I'm good. I'm losing it. Something's not right here. I needed to get home to Alice. His, I love his voice. To Alice, my love of my life, who's also helping me escape here. Ba -da -dum -ba. Saga also is, but I feel like his accent, his American accent's like super, super good. Hers is, hers is good, but you can hear her accent through sometimes. What the hell was that interview? What the hell? Some kind of joke? Initiation? I, I never like... wrote a book called Initiation. This felt like a bad dream. So Could make a good horror story. <laughs> so, Scratch wrote all of Initiation and then Alan edited it? Edited it? Edi <laughs> edited it? Is that right? Did he write all of it and then... How do I... How am I still so... Everything's so crazy. Oh, return. Scratch wrote all of it. Return. Okay. But he doesn't remember writing initiation because he loses his memory each loop, then? Or each. Old Gods of Asgard. Old Gods of Asgard. <laughs> that name sounded familiar. Yeah, you know them. Okay, that's right, then. You can go in Mr. Door's room. I was a mess. I had never heard of this talk show or Mr. Door before. None of it felt right. Was I losing my mind? I'm so happy. I'm so glad. Like, this just made me so happy in my first playthrough and then seeing all this and be like, is that Audi? And like, ah, oh, it was so awesome. <laughs> Initiation has gone through many drafts. You could consider American Nightmare to be one of the first attempts. That's what I've heard. That's what I thought. Cool. I love Dr. Darling so much. I love him. That way. Okay, so... I want that book? Me too. I'll put it right back here. I can't see. It's dark. Time is broken here. Maybe time never worked the way we think it does. It loops around it. And yet it goes forward. A spiral. I thought it was finding remnants of the earlier loops, earlier drafts of my writing. The murder sites. That I had left clues. Momentums for myself to guide me on them, maybe. That's the only part of it. If telling this not a straight line, then there are loops beyond these loops. That's complex superstructures beyond what's happening to me now. I, I headed me. And I'm there as well. A virgin is something. I have become some elevated, enlightened virgin. An archon. A demiurge. A demon of some sort playing a secret game. Building something. His past self upon to get in there. A deus ex machina pushing me there. I hate the 
idea a crazy, intrusive thought. And yet, no crazier than anything out there. Which version of myself was I? Where was I in this grand loop? That was new. Right? That had to be new. No, let me watch it again. You're so rude. Oh, that was cool. I want to watch it again. Oh, that's so cool. That's so crazy. That's so cool. Which version of myself am I? Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, I don't remember. I knew I feel like I knew there was a TV there, but that's so cool. Oh shoot. There was something in the studio with me. I had to get out. Not this time, Bucko. I felt like a drowning man gasping for air. This place felt familiar. A ghost of a memory surfaced, about riding here for countless days. Okay. Freaking so cool. So freaking cool. A plot board for mapping out a story. On the index cards, the nightmare that just happened to me. Mm -hmm. A summary of the story so far. Oops. But other notes as well. Warnings. I had written them. I couldn't remember what it all meant. The name Scratch filled me with dread. I could trust these words. I had to act on them. You must write to escape. the song but wait it doesn't let me watch that video again at least not right now I had to write more fine then write more wait what does this say I want to see just, oh, obviously just says what happened so far Waking up to a nightmare. Read me. Beware, Scratch. Alice. The dark place trapped. You must write to escape. The talk show I had thought I was home in New York, but none of it had felt right. I was trapped in the dark place, a nightmare beyond our worlds. Safe haven. I'm trying to write a story to escape this place. The story is called Initiation. With the story I wrote, projected myself out to look for a way to escape. I had tried many times, failed. This place made me forget. So cool. Hi, Elder. I didn't remember much, but I knew my thoughts and ideas could manifest as reality in this dark place. I'd use my writing to project myself out of this room like a deep sea diver to go deeper and explore the depths of this prison for a way out. This room was my boat. Writing was my lifeline. I would start again at the talk show. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, you're too kind. Welcome back. Uh, we have a great show for you here tonight. 
We'll treat all you Alex Casey fans out there. Oh my gosh. Alex Casey himself is here tonight. That's right. Sam Lake, ladies and gentlemen. The actor who has mm. given his face to the famous detective in the film series. And of course, we have Alan Wake here. Best selling writer, the books, the films are based on. Let's do this! calls the room his boat and it's shaped like a boat upside down. True. The reflection of it. True. It's so cool. I guess I'm smiling. Welcome back to the show. A song. Alan, as the uh, creator of the character, how do you feel about this? Sorry, what? I, I know it can be an awkward question with the man sitting right next to you, but I mean, how do you feel about him in the role of Casey? Does he look the part to you? He's <laughs> uh... He looks exactly like I always imagined Casey to be. It's uncanny. <laughs> Thank you. That means so much to me. After. I'm a huge fan of your books. So, uh, what's the problem, Alan? Because on more than one occasion, you voiced your reservations about the adaptations. Uh, it's not that. They're their own thing. They've gone with choices that are different from mine. I, I, I feel protective about my stories, and these adaptations... I don't know. I, I guess I just wish I could have been more involved in making them. Well, in that case, you won't have seen this either. We have a clip from the new film, Murder Case Casey. <laughs> Should we roll it, or do you want to say something first, Sam? Same. Nah, just roll it. Also, apparently, AMC bought the rights to an Alan Wake show. This city was an old scar that refused to heal. The rain made it fester. It needed the sun, but there was only the night. I was tired. Insomnia covered me like a plastic film. I was watching the world through a rain-slick window, my own reflection haunting the view. I was trying to track down a missing writer. My only clue was a table lamp, shaped like an angel. The only thing to shed light on this sordid mystery. I mean, it could literally be any of the matters, and it's That's not like great. a specific Murder one. Case, Casey. Great job, Sam. Very exciting and very meta. I love I'm smile. looking forward to seeing very more. Meta. <laughs> Wait, stop. What was that about a writer? About a lamp? I know, it's horrible. Oh. This game is just so messed up, but I love it so much. I love all of it, everything. Wait, did I go the right way? Hi, Dr. Diamond. It's locked again? What? I forgot. Wait, this door was this door was not here five seconds ago. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, five six five. Exactly, Zeph. Exactly. You get it. <laughs> I didn't miss anything back there, did I? Oh my god, it's so dark. Can I get another video? Dang it. 
so cool. Man, the first time too in the first playthrough. I guess not yet, but hold on. Oh yeah, that's the other side. When we came in here and heard Audie singing, that was just like such a crazy moment. Hello? <laughs> because we knew right away, but I legit did not think we could open that door. Like, I thought that was just like, oh, cool little touch, like, we've just got like the little secret janitor back there and that's it. I did not think we could open that door. Love it. Hi, Paradox. How we doing? Was there even anything in here? No. Whoa. Hardy? Ah, Lorraine. There you are, Tom. Uh -oh. oh, not so much evil that not a bit of good as well. Not one without the other. <laughs> Good to see you. I'm looking for the exit. Spoiling things again, I know, right? Like, not good with the... Hey, I, I can't seem to find my way out of here. Can you point me to the exit? <laughs> of course, Tom. The work will instruct its maker. I was gonna get something from the basement for you, but... You can get it yourself now. Perfect, uh, thank the you. The more cooks, the worse the soup. <laughs> the soup. What's in the basement? What do you want me to get from the basement? A and my name's Alan, not Tom. Yeah, yeah, but I got a bag of a man's. A man, what does but that a mean? man with a tool makes two, Tom. Egane. <laughs> and a man with a tool can build his own exit. Mm -hmm. It's in a soup box. In the basement where you left it. <laughs> Safe as in the Lord's purse. <laughs> Here's the key. I want to know what he says in Finnish. Thanks, Adi. I'm sorry, have we met? Have we met before? Are you trapped in the dark place too? You remember Adi, <laughs> the janitor. <laughs> you can't be lost if you don't worry about where you are headed. So, don't nice. worry, Tom. The sun will shine even into a heap of twigs. Just remember to turn on the lights. It won't take long when you get to work. I've been trying to find a way to escape the dark place. Any suggestions? He who mulls about his troubles is the prisoner of his troubles. It's not easy to get out. But don't you worry, Tom. The home is still there where the heart is. I often think about it when I mop the floor and look into the puddle. Water is the memory of the world. Water finds its way. The janitor was a bit out there, but still a friendly face. I had to trust the basement would get me out of here. Complain about that? Smooth brains. That's what I have to say. Yeah, that is the whole point. Think Audi uses water to get around? Yeah, he's literally a water god, probably. I mean, isn't that what Audi means in Finnish? Yeah, exactly. It's so cool. Oh, I can't stop smiling. My face hurts. Worlds of darkness. Can I get a flash? Oh, yeah, I'll get it downstairs. Please hold. Um. Your game of the year? Me too. 
shortcut. Wait, what room is this? Oh! Wait, that's my room. Oh yeah, because we have to go- wait. I just got so confused. How am I confused again? Who knows? I love Remedy. Anybody from Remedy, if you ever watch any of my videos of your games, if you ever do, I appreciate you so much. Thank you. Thank you for making this. Thank you for making these games. Like, actually, they've changed my life. I'm not even joking. Oh, I got lost. I need light, please. <laughs> I need to stop goofing off and get this. An old lamp and a shoebox. So... Was this what the janitor had left for me? Yeah. So what I want to know... The lamp felt significant. A tool for bringing light to the darkness. What I want to know is how Alan's mom got the clicker in the first place. I felt a magnetic pull it. between the lamp and the light overhead. Well, but like, was the clicker always an object of power or did he make it an object of power? Hold on. I didn't even think about that. I guess that's something to think about. <laughs> Whoa! When the light jumped into my lab, the whole room changed. Whoa, stuff's falling like off something the in a dream. Chance. Opening a way forward, the lamp was humming. The bulb glowed. It held the light now. Lord. He. <laughs> Hi, how's it going? Created when an item is exposed to enough paranatural energies, but being fundamentally altered to the influence of a person's own mind and ideas. Well, there you go. Yeah, so it might have been originally like normal because like he was scared of the dark or like but like alice is really scared of the dark but alan was just like normal scared of the dark okay um so cool um so that's how they're i felt another surge from the lamp I could use it again. Okay, Alan. Do it then. The glow in the lamp went out, shifting the light in the room. The light carved out something new from the darkness. Yeah, true. The clicker was cut from the lamp. True. Wait, like, how do they animate? How do you animate this? I was watching a video about lighting in this game, and, like... It's just like so instant. I love it so much. I love this game so much. <laughs> I love it. The Harry. Wait, is that the show? The real show? That was in Alan Week 1? Is that the real one? Did I say that last time? I don't remember. Harry Garrett. Yeah, right? I can't see. What's going on? I'm in a loop? Or am I in a curve of a spiral? What is that? I guess it is a loop of a spiral. Oh. It's not a loop, it's a... It's not a loop, it's a ocean. What if we do this? I forget. Let's have a 4090. Wait, I don't have a 4090. Oh, you're talking to Phoenix? Uh oh. 
yeah. <laughs> I, was, I was confused too. Hi, Snapple. I only have a 3080. An ocean and a spiral becomes a whirlpool? What? Whoa. Whoa. The dark place wants to drown me. I'm losing myself. I have to fight it. I have to remember the clicker, the light switch. I lost it, but I have the lamp now. The lamp the switch was cut from. This place is a nightmare. Not real and yet more real than anything. The danger and the horror are real. It feeds off my mind, twisting whatever it takes into psychotic reality. I'm trapped here. I write to escape. I've tried this many times, written countless stories, mm -hmm. forgotten how many. I keep failing, but I must keep trying. I use the story to dive deeper. Every word I write is a step forward on this spiral of the darkness. I dive to the bottom to find the answer, the, the map, the key, the compass that's combined to form a door leading out. But how do you open a door that's not a door? At the bottom of an ocean that's not an ocean and a lake? That's not a lake. <laughs> And some say that it loops wherever and so that I'll loop you on any show. <laughs> hey, David, I'm playing on hard. And some say that it loops forever this world. Hi, Snapple, how you doing? Some say that it loops forever this world. That I'll lose you on it. What do you mean, Paradox? I changed the outfit. It's an alternate outfit. I can put the other one back on if you want. I just changed it from the first playthrough. I can see you there, but you don't see me anywhere. I'm, I'm right, right here in front of you, I'm right here on this one ending world. Yeah, it's so nice having the episodes or having the parts and the chapters. Is it fate? So cool. A pane of glass. Somehow Such this window becomes a trap, trap on this one ending world. Was that video different, by the way? Or was that what it said? Oh, was that the whole thing the first time? Oh, they're not released yet, really? I listened to Poe's music. I was listening to Poe at the gym the other day, and I was like, I like this. And then I listened to Poe to the fall, and I was like, I like this. Pretty sure it's the same. Oh, my gosh. I didn't realize he, like, said the, all that in it. The iconic outfit from the first one? I feel like it's exactly what he's wearing. In this. Oh wait, the hoodie. I forgot about the hoodie and the jacket. Oh yeah. Must not be that iconic. I'm just kidding, it is, but well, it's different because he's in a nightmare. Have I ever read House of Leaves? No. Yeah, true. He did in one of those clips I thought. In the ones where I think that he looks like or I think it's like Tom Zane, it's weird. You can't say your favorite song from the game? Oh no, you can't. This is spoilers. You can this is second playthrough unless it's spoilers for the NG+. But you're good. We we can talk about spoilers. We're talking about theories, whatever you want to talk about from the first playthrough. We're good. Just so you know. Wait. Did we play, play this whole part? Wait. Is this called Dara Street Station already? The 
thank you for not for doing that like for not just like oh my gosh we already do i'm so like how do i not remember an order this stuff because this is forced order still right now wait hello i'm sorry why can't i see oh yeah wait am i supposed to have a flashlight yet <laughs> i don't think so oh yeah i'm lost again same spot Ooh! the payphone was ringing somehow i knew the call was for me so cool and it's so cool because new york city this was his home and like it's supposed to be a comforting place and this is so terrifying and just so Yeah, thanks, no name, but you're good. Second playthrough, talk about whatever. Hello? Hello? Hello, Wake? Yes. Do you know who I am? No. Who is this? We'll get to that later. There are spies all over. Shadows. A sense of deja vu washed over me. Had I had this conversation before? Alan, listen to me carefully. Caldera Street Station, the subway. You need to go there. I'll call you again later. Wait. Make sure to pick up. Do I know you? Is it Elmo? Am I dumb? I, I know you from somewhere. <laughs> you just forgotten again. Who We're is it? This together. I don't, I Don't worry. I got it now. We've been working. Great. I I'm losing you. Hello? Hello? Who am I supposed to be? Am I stupid? It is Tom Zane. Okay. But he sounds like Ilmo without an accent. Just saying. <laughs> They're both Finnish. Yeah, you know. <laughs> I thought it was Tom and then I got confused because I heard like it sounded like Ilmo to me. So I was like, wait, what am I talking about? All right. I knew that. All right, this is good because I did miss some stuff. Casey, initiation two. The man had said Caldera Street Station. I had to go there. Where's my thing where I was writing down? Because I wanted to keep track of what chapters I did in which videos. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I lost it. Uh-oh, I wrote God of War notes and I don't know. in my other notebook right here. She came prepared. Almost. Pizza? Where the heck? Well, I guess I lied to you guys. Oh, I found it. Wait, no, I didn't. I guess I won't. I have pray notes. Pray was so good. Oh, I found it. It was just really bad handwriting, so I couldn't read it. Yeah, I need my own plot board. Exactly. I just want to know for my videos and for like to see. Did you pray DLC? No, I didn't do the pray DLC. I kind of forgot. I'll probably I'll do that someday for sure. I really like that game a lot. Actually, totally forgot. The dark place. Do I? Stop it. The Caldera Street station sign was there, but the entrance was missing. 
I had to make it appear. Maybe I could use the lamp to reveal the station entrance. The lamp was dead in my hand. Oh, I needed wait. to find a light for it. I thought that one was awake for some reason. Wait, where do I actually get it? Oh yeah, I forgot. Yeah, it really like makes my all my goosebumps go. So weird. So you ran around for a while here? Yeah, me too. Well, I was just exploring. Cold case. There was a light at the end of the alley ahead. Yeah, true. Hello, Jacob, of course. How are you? Is this the way it was on the page? What the hell? Oh, hey. We met at Door's show. Alan Wake. The writer. I'm Alex Casey. I'm looking into a murder. Come on, what? What is this? There's a piece of evidence, a manuscript of a novel. You wouldn't know anything about it? A manuscript? What manuscript? I need to see it. Rumor had it the manuscript contained the details of the murders. A murder cult was following the story to commit their gruesome acts. Was Wake their leader? Had he written it? How far would he go to create a perfect work of art? Or would he be the next victim? Very scary. Stay here. No, wait! I need a gun! No chance. No chance. Casey! There. Damn it. The, the part, there's a part later when they're in the real world and the and the FBC's coming in and the, and then I they're like going out. Casey. It's called No Chance. I needed that light. And like, oh my god, that was like way more intense sounding than I thought. Does it like somebody said in a YouTube comment I think that the same kind of thing happens? Or like the same is it when I remember dying in this Real Casey alley. is going and he says this as well. I think he says it too. He was just going to keep killing me here. Loop by loop. You're not going to get what you want. You think you know. You know shit. You don't really want to know. You're going to get what's coming to you. So is the dark place or the dark presence just like using Casey to like try to like... Because Casey's such like a big character in the life. I needed his gun and flashlight to protect myself. Like, to try to like just fuck with him, like what it? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. That's right. When the cult attacks the lodge, yeah, and it's called No Chance. And that so like right here is when that happened too. It's a good parallel. So is that or what's the point of Casey? Like what's like the major points of Casey being like such a? I mean in the dark place. I think it's because... Control, Alan needs Casey to follow the murders. Okay, yep. This was an True. echo of the books I had written for years. Picking up Casey's True. gun felt like I was assuming the role of the detective. Right now, I needed to get back to the subway station entrance. Oh no, he was glitched for you. Oh, he's gone now. Shit, with the alley in darkness now, 
Restless shadows block my way. They don't scare me. They won't even touch me. Ugh. Wait, was that the way I was supposed to go? I think there was a door there. I guess I don't really have to worry about the writings. I already have, like, unless I want to upgrade more. Hi, Damon. Welcome back today. Do not touch me. Do not touch me. Do not touch me. didn't. They were trying to stop me. With the gun and flashlight, I could fight back. I need a band-aid. <laughs> I told you guys they wouldn't touch me. TV, thank you. Oh yeah, the TV, I forgot. Let me heal real quick, a little bit. Do I, oh wait, is this gonna let me watch my thing now? Yeah, I wanna rewatch this one real quick. Time is broken here. Or no, not this one. Maybe time never oh, yeah. worked the way we think it does. It loops around, and yet it goes forward, a spiral. I thought I was finding remnants of the earlier loops, earlier drafts of my writing. The murder sites. That I had left clues, mementos for myself to guide me on, but maybe that's only part of it. If time is not a straight line, then there are loops beyond these loops. Vast complex superstructures beyond what's happening to me now I, ahead of me. And I'm there as well, a version of me, something okay. I have become, some elevated, enlightened virgin, an archon, a demiurge. A demon of some sort playing a secret game, building something, his past self a pawn to get him there. A deus ex machina pushing me there. I hate the idea, a crazy, intrusive thought. And yet, no crazier than anything else here. Hell yeah. I like that. Yeah, it does. And the whole remedy verse in general control and Alan Wake are just so awesome. I love it. By the writer, my right. Writing is the key. Art is the key to find my way out of the dark place. I can't forget this. Don't you fucking forget this. I'm in the dark place. I'm outside time and space, outside reality. But this is real. A nightmare dimension, an ocean of darkness. It, remember, it's dark energy can make art come true, make dreams and nightmares come true. Yes, I can use this. I need to use this. Hungry, monstrous things. Up there, they're wanting to stop me, to devour me, overcome me. Oh no. He's wearing the outfit that is outside. Too bad there's no why would there need to be scenes from the first game? Oh really? Matthew Printer's voicing all the shadows? I thought they were I definitely know I definitely felt like some of them were Alan, but that's interesting. I thought, well, some of them. Oh, okay, that's cool. Well, yeah, but that loop. That's different than the loop in here. I needed to find another light to go deeper inside. 
Give me that, please. Thank you. All right, we need to make sure that I do the right scenes in the right areas and check everything because you guys have let me know I forgot or I missed some last time, like different scenes in different areas. Yeah, I definitely knew some of them looked like Alan or were Alan, but I didn't know all of them are, or I didn't really think about it. So cool. No charges. <gasps> Only one, okay. I don't think I can get it while I'm in here. Oh no! I think probably the first playthrough I was exploring more, so I went over here first and then went up there and grabbed it. Or like, oh well, I guess we need to go talk to Tim anyway, we should go do this. I guess you have. Unless there's another light somewhere else, I forget. Cult of the Wind. In between. I'm lost in the dark place. Give me that, give me that, give me that. Do they still have the orbs? Oh yeah. The rain tried to wash away the sins of this city. <laughs> but some sins... The evidence of the crimes committed could never be erased. Not by the rain, or any amount of therapy from Dr. Jack Daniels. It remained bruises under my skin, like tattoos. Bruises in my soul. Scar tissue on my heart. The rain never stopped falling. Hmm. And I never stopped drinking. I had written books about Alex Casey for years. Something lingered here. A line from a half-forgotten story. Earth, James, I know. It's so horrible. At least he has a legacy that's here forever. But that's so, so stupid. I got a shotgun. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Oops. Uh. It just disappeared. Froze it. Mm. Yeah, I just said yesterday or day before. That's when we heard about it. Mm, it's so horrible. Actually, I guess I could do one. Negative one? <laughs> the inventories are not working too well on this. <laughs> oh, come on. Come 
Come on. <laughs> you can do it. Does he use a controller? You make me sick. So I just came down. Oh yeah. Don't touch me, don't touch me, don't touch me. Wait, can I already open these? Or I thought this was like the special one. Whoa! Creepy. I forgot you can see. Do you get banned? Yep. Sorry. Yeah, see ya. <laughs> it was nice knowing you. Hello. Hello. Oh. Hey, Alan. Hi. You snuck up on me. <laughs> Hello? Sorry. Have we met? Memory problems again, huh? Yeah, we've met. Tim Breaker. We've shared notes. Hey, I've made some progress on the map if you want to take a look. I still haven't found my mystery man, though. Uh, mystery man? Who's this mystery man? Oh, it wouldn't be much of a mystery if I knew. All I have is a name. Warlandor. The Warland. talk show host? No. No, that doesn't sound like him. <laughs> the guy has many disguises, but a talk show host? No. I'll keep looking. That's weird. You're making a map? You're making a map? I'm trying to. It's hard to map a dream, though. I keep ending up in unexpected places. I find interesting things like those strange markings that react to the light, but never the one thing that I'm looking for. Feel free to check the map out. Oh, I've been stockpiling supplies while I poke around. If you find a stash, take anything you need. I appreciate the help. Hard to map a dream. Let me look at this. <laughs> well, that's my crazy wall. I'm just trying to make sense of things. Don't judge me. I'll trade you walls any day. <laughs> we read all this last time. Aliens, UFOs, polyhedrons. Aliens. I love it so much. But yeah, if it seems like I'm rushing this this time, I'm definitely not looking around as much because in the first playthrough, if you haven't seen my first playthrough, Boy. it's on YouTube. But my first playthrough, I was way more thorough. Barely missed, barely missed stuff, I feel like. I think we did a pretty good job, but just, you know, because it's the second playthrough, I'm not gonna like, obsessively. We'll just See try to get Alan. new things and things that we missed. See ya, Tim, got anything else? Actually, I'm gonna be right back real quick. Y'all hang out with Tim, let me know if he sings some more or something. Just let me know how it goes. I'll be right back. Thanks, Michael. Thanks for being here, BRB. Are we ready? Sorry, I'm ready. Let's keep going. We gotta do this whole part. Probably. Good to see you. I can't see a dang thing. There was something hidden here. Light would reveal it. A phrase repeated over and over. The words resonated with meaning. Had I written this? Ma. Ah. Ma. Ah. Uh. Uh. Stunning. Ah. Fake. Jeez. You got pizza? Oh, wait. Oh, he's got more pizza boxes? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Alright, where are we going? We need to go. Wait, is this actually how we get the other light? I guess so. I don't remember doing this so early. Oh my 
god, remember when I missed this one forever, I think? Wait, maybe I'm gonna miss it again because I don't know. Oh, it's right here. Oh. The city was a monster, poised to tear into you the second you let your guard down. You thought you had it tamed, that you knew what the hell you were doing. Nice. Your last mistake, unless you got lucky. And you didn't deserve to get lucky. You blinked at the wrong time, let your mind wander. And the fire escape that was meant to be your getaway route was gone. It was never there at all. You'd gotten turned around somewhere along the way. The city was coming to finish you off, and there was nowhere left to run. True, he probably hasn't had any food in 13 years. That's so sad. I thought I could just jump off. Hi, Lamora. Thanks for lurking. No, I hope you feel better. Oh. Go well so soon. Hopefully you get it all out of the way before Christmas time or before New Year's and whatever holidays, hopefully. Oh, I hope you feel better. What the heck? How'd I get here? Wait, what? Oh, yeah. There's pizza in the dark place? Well, there's pizza boxes, but is there actually pizza to be had? I don't remember going here, like, right now. You know? Why am I going up here? I don't need to go up here. Got it from your one-year-old niece. Uh, <laughs> lucky. <laughs> I feel you. Fuck me. Shut up. We don't even need that one, but oh, that's not what I meant to do. Goodbye. We'll get that later. We're in a speed run. You missed that one? Yeah, I got it first playthrough, but I'll get it later. Mm -hmm. You have to go in there though, and all the enemies are in there, so... I don't want it right now. Okay, perfect. Now we can go in. The gates to the platform were closed. I had a ticket. How convenient. Uh oh. Hey. Oh. I love empty lockers. Something about the station platform felt significant. It would work in my writing, but I needed more. Something lingered here. A half-forgotten memory. An echo. An FBI agent had come here before me on the trail of a murder cult. He'd gone missing, presumed dead. The cult was leaving me clues to follow, connecting the dots from one murder to the next, inviting me to draw an obscene picture on the city map. Caldera Street Station. The name made me think of the exit wound of a bullet. I had a flash of inspiration. The ghost of my fictional detective. A story thread I could use in my writing. I... Oh, sorry, Alan. <laughs> I didn't mean to interrupt you. The dark place reacted to my story. Whoa. The way into the tunnels was no longer blocked.
The Fed had glimpsed into the Maw of Darkness. It swallowed him whole. Oh, God. The favorite loot to find. Nothing. Bigfoot? I love reading all the signs and everything in my first playthrough on this. Just noticing all the... The tracks details. led into the tunnel. Oh, so spooky. That was my way forward. Yo, yell at me if I miss, like... A manuscript page or something new, I guess. Just... Just yell at me. Wake. Only if I miss it, though. The blood trail continued deeper into darkness. Can I go into darkness? <laughs> Let me in. Initiation. This is the tunnel that we saw in Saga's overlay in the threshold. So cool. I feel like <laughs> <laughs> uh, Alan, we made the same noise. <laughs> I don't like the sound of that. <gasps> Come on. <laughs> I'm crying. I guess we could do a regular save. I don't know why I'm keeping these first playthrough ones. I just want to. I guess I could keep that one and not that. I don't know. I don't need to, but. Oh, creepy. Ready. <laughs> I love my wife. You ever just love your wife? I'd love if I had one. I guess depends on the wife. <laughs> depends on the wife. Oh my gosh, that's true. The tunnels were a maze. If I had the a blood wife. trail led me on. I'm sure I'd love it. What's going on down there? I don't have any charges. Wait. Why not? Oh wait, I went this way already. Wait, what am I doing? What was in that other room? Another place to use in this story. I needed to search the tunnels for further visions. Inspiration for the story that would lead me deeper. I changed the story. And with that, the dark place changed. The federal agent had come here looking for answers. All he found was a fate worse than death. Luck to be on this case. The cult can get you anywhere with that black magic shit. Let the day shift handle it. What happened, anyway? Some fed came looking for the cult, but it was a trap. A satanic blood sacrifice. Anyone who gets involved with the cult, they're next. I heard their leader is this famous writer, Alan Wake, their unholy motherfucking messiah. Sounds like up. a load of bull. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Hold on. Give. Oh, do I just have too much stuff? That's so rude. It's not my fault. Another echo lingered here, a source of inspiration. We'll get inspired. 
What do you know? Word is, your research can help me, ma'am. What do you know? There's more than one urban legend about the cult of the word. The murder cult used these tunnels for their ritual sacrifices. They say the cult reenacted the murders in Alan Wake's crime books. That Wake was even involved somehow, under a false identity. Mr. Scratch, which is, of course, a nickname for the devil himself. It was disturbing finding myself in the story this way. But I was desperate, and it felt right for the story. Wait, you can turn off the flashlight to avoid detection? I didn't even know that. Too bad. Oh. Ah. Ah. Don't touch me. All right, try a, a different. New story beat fit the story perfectly. This is just ah. I could imagine this murder cult performing their macabre acts beyond the collapsed tunnel. The cultists laid the Casey novel onto the altar with reverence. A twisted Bible. that I'm still confused. Where, who, where? Now what? Did I even go in that other little room back there? Wait, where was I? I was lost before. Oh yeah, I have a light now. Wait. The water was gone. The way forward was open. I'm already going this way? I feel like I was so slow on my first playthrough, but I don't feel like I... Oh, maybe we go back. That was so much faster than last time. That's why I'm so confused how I'm already here. <laughs> I took forever. <laughs> I gotta stop opening lockers. I'm not getting any loot. Wait, that's so funny. But how you managed to completely forget what to do. <laughs> Come on, listen. I got a limited. I got limited disk space up here. <laughs> Alan. Hi, Tim. Tim Breaker. In case you don't remember again. I know, Tim. I'm remembering more now. It's good to hear, man. <laughs> Did you find Mr. Door yet? How's your search for Mr. Door going? It's not great. This dream we're in. Putting a lot of roadblocks in my way. You think this is a dream? So you think this is a dream? I'm not ruling it out. You know, my dreams have always been incredibly vivid. Mm-hmm. They feel real until the second I wake up. Me too. In dreams, I'm often someone else. A different person with a different name, living a different life in, in a different world. It's alternate realities, maybe. Literally, maybe named Jack Joyce? But certain things don't change. Like Dor. True, he was there, but his name was Hatch. It looks familiar. The sketch you have does look like the door I know. The talk show host. All I know is the door has something to do with what's happening to me. And he knows that I know. He's like some sadistic mastermind torturing me. What if shared dreams were a real thing? Well, there's a lot in this and in control about shared consciousness and, 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 and stuff. <laughs> da, 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 da. All right, now we have more on the board. What is this place a dream? Feels like it's, feels like it's not real. No place, every place, all places, any place? No New York. Not NYC, a way to other places, a nexus? Is Dor the gatekeeper? We're trying to get somewhere everywhere? 
Door, gate, portal, port, opening, access, window, hatch. Effective unconscious, wait. La, da, 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 da. Okay, stop looting. There's nothing to loot. I'm gonna shoot some people. Playstore was literally in the first game having shared dreams. You. Let me get a look at you. You are me. Make you choke on these words. Historia's a monster. Oh, Jesus loves me. How dare you make me bleed my own blood? Oh my god, I was gonna think my game was broken for a sec. That was like nine empty lockers in a row. The memory is fading like a dream. I must hold on to it. I remember an awful beacon in the darkness, a scene of a ritualistic murder site in the subway tunnels. Is it a previous draft of my writing? Must be. I've been trying to shape the dark place around me, but so much fades away. Even my memory of the process, washed away by dark waves. But some things remain. The darkest, nastiest elements, like the murder site. It's my goal, a stepping stone to travel deeper to escape. Write a narrative that takes me there. Casey will lead me to it. Cool. Oh yeah, wait, oh yeah. The guy who was killed in a tutorial by the axe murdering hitchhiker is a real guy who writes about his shared dreams in Alawick Files book. Oh. Okay. I forgot about that. Whew, that was the very beginning of Alan Wake. Why am I yawning? I s Actually, I slept pretty bad. Oh god. The train blocked my way forward, but it was here for a reason. It had a role to play. A W E. Wait, let me see here. Wait, I can't go into that? Oh. Can I even crouch? I don't think so. I guess I can only come out from this side. Ah! <laughs> Was it though? I think there's a thing here. I was sure the plot board had the pieces I needed. I found it. We're just getting them as we find them. It was when landing a direct hit, increased double barrel shotgun damage. Multiple increased damage dealt by the last bullet. Sure. Hi, Rattle. Okay. Going back. Just a real train of plot thing. Whoa. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. The new scene I had found was important for the story. Oh, 
Oh yeah, Esteban. Caution. Caution advised. Can you hear me? Hello? Anyone there? Dead. Estevez is in real life. She'll come to Bright Falls soon. And she's, well, and there were notes about her in control. Cool. We heard that the first time though. This would move the story forward. The cult poured the gasoline over the train car. An iron cage that would soon become a coffin. Who wears the FBC agent who that radio belongs to? Real good question. Okay, those are the only plot points I have so far. You gotta be real. Are you for real that you're not real? Okay, you're not first go on go on man go on ma'am this is where the history of the cult gets genuinely disturbing the cultists track down the torchbearers living in the tunnels they lock the poor folks up in a derailed subway car douse it in gasoline yeah charming it turns into a bit of a ghost story after that they say the dark smoke from the fire still roams the tunnel searching for new victims to devour. There are no happy endings in this city. The story thread felt important. I could use it in one of the scenes I'd found. Hell no, I haven't noticed that. Why would I have noticed that? They're all just shadows to me who I ignore most of the time. Deloney, thanks for 75 months. Well, welcome back. How are you? Don't be scared. Okay, so now I have... Oh, wait, so... I had a new beat for the story. Will I go back to Collapse Tunnel? Not all of them do anyway. Yeah. I don't think they do. I think they all just look shadowy. Evacuate with almost 196 months? I'm great, thank you. How are you? You good? You guess you good? Nice. Thanks, evacuate. Can do it later. Okay, just making sure I wasn't gonna miss it or go too far. Okay, well, first in here, I think we can get the treasure behind here with this one, maybe. The scene here had changed. Nice. Give me that loot. Yeah, me too. I usually just run away. Do murder torchbearers? A sick and twisted story. But it worked. What did it do? The subway car had become a burnt husk. I could get through it now. What about this door? I forget. Is this even locked? Unlocked? Is it for later? From the other well, I know side. I go through the. I know I go through the train. Okay. I just, <laughs> I just wanted to make sure that wasn't just a little closet. Okay. This was dark, but the story ah. had to be dark. <gasps> Sorry. Does it really have to be this dark, though, Alan? Like, I think you're the only one saying it has to be dark. <sighs> You're the only one saying that, Alan. You make the rules. None of this was real. It was all real. Fuck me. Oh my god, I don't remember. 
remember that being so traumatic. <laughs> you got a sick mind. Oh yeah, I can just do this. <laughs> nice. Oh my god, remember this puzzle? <laughs> This was funny. Solve it for you? That part? <laughs> Dude, don't even worry. I tried to go up there and get the angle. I was like, there's no way I just shoot the board, right? You know? There's no way I just shoot the board. <laughs> Don't overthink it. Ooh, harder to detect. Sweet. So funny. <laughs> Hi, Aegon. How you doing? Loads game. You got it. I'm here to help. I am here to help. Wait. Oh. oh, I almost got it. Wait. What do you guys want? Demon. Night Springs, new season coming soon. <laughs> DLC. Oh, my favorite thing. These are a few of my favorite things. Thank you, game. Love you. Blessings be upon you. Walk. Do not run. Use him. Okay, sorry. It's like... You had to look up a guy who simply never considered shooting the damn... You're making me feel so much better, actually. Thank you for saying this. <laughs> My path I was blocked. Was... I had to find a way through. It took so long. The lights would help me. The lights would help. Put this away. I want one. Pay extra attention? Sounds good. Oh, like the tile work here? Or the, oh, I guess they are paintings. Is this what you mean? <gasps> this part, like this part? Whoa. Oh wait, let's see. Thank you. Perfect. Well, we have nothing in the forest, and then we have a mommy deer and a baby deer. Saga and Logan, maybe. You lost her. Is this to me or about Alice or to Saga about Logan? Scratch. None of them have anything. Were these here before? Hunted. I feel like I didn't remember seeing that. Interesting. Is 
still no, no deer, nothing at all. Yeah, there's none, there's still none in here. The wall where they were is gone. Oh my god, now he's walking with the axe. Wait, I never noticed this. Another walking with the axe. Hunted. Thanks, Coda, for telling me. Initiation, that's Sagas. Just the baby? It has no antlers. But also, mommy deers don't have antlers, so. But it's okay. It's just a representation. <gasps> don't touch her! <gasps> he was looking there. He was looking at her! <laughs> Wait, why'd you make me look at this? <laughs> oh, that's so cool. I hate it. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Stop it! Stop! And then he moves. Right by- that's creepy. That is so creepy. Oh, I don't like it. No. <laughs> God! I had hope for a second. I was like, oh, that's the guy hanging. Nope, that's the deer hanging with its head off. And mommy finds the baby deer. so creative. I'm upset. So freaking cool though. Can we just undo it if we take this? It never happened. Oh, it still happened? What the fuck? Not game of the year, by the way. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh my gosh. That actually made me tear up. Also, if you missed this part, if you missed this one under here, a couple people said they missed this last time. When I got it. Retreat, max health restored in safe havens. I mean, I might as well take this. I should have already taken that. 
I'm for real more because you're like a part you're a part of it Prior to killing it or regain a flashlight charge on killing an enemy I didn't know you could do that oh I want to play Soma so bad I played like five seconds of it so many years ago I've been wanting to play it especially because I feel like it has the same vibes as Prey a little bit Nice springs have. I didn't even notice that. Remember when I was lost here for a million years too? Because I'm a doofus. It's probably gonna happen again. Because Saga's the deer. The echoing hall End had a story them. to tell. All right. We'll go in order. I had a new idea for a scene. So I'm noticing so many things I didn't because there was so much to process and so much to think about in the first playthrough that it's like nice to be able to notice different details. The hole had changed into the murder okay, cult's hideout. Okay, I will. Witnessed something here that made him run scared. Really? Whether the summoning ritual had been a bona fide supernatural event or the mass psychosis of stark raving lunatics, it didn't change the facts. The cult was messing with things no one should mess with. The ritual was a vital part of the story, the key to reaching the murder site. I had a new idea, a new story thread. Well, hold on to that idea. I gotta notice stuff. This paint? Is there something in here? There's a light on in there. I didn't know that. Wait. I'm missing it still. <gasps> Go in there? Oh. Not go in here. And I want to look in here and everything. Well, I'm back outside. Dang it. Interesting. It was so creepy. Why is it getting scarier? I 
Oh no, I meant I knew it was there before. I just I didn't know if I missed like if I apparently missed it, but I didn't know if I even like went in there and just missed the tape or not. I'm just looking at everything. You know, they're obsessed. Oh, is it all scratched out? Or is that just how it looks? I think it's all scratched out. Wait. That is except for like five words. Just missed you could go in there. I'm a silly goose. Creepy. Oh my god, I can. I swear I looked here. The cultists were close now. A dark presence rising from the depths. Oh, I know what it is. When you're gone. The writer, not of the last, the shadow cast, third eye, project the night. This is your time when you're gone. Writer, the first word, not the last, in the shadow, I open this is your time ritual. Friends will meet. Threaded light shadow to write to lead will meet. You'll meet me when you're gone. Or you'll meet him when I'm gone. Whatever. Okay, back to this. The plot changed the details of the world. Alan wakes. You got the wrong guy. I was being tricky. Me? A sign on the ceiling? <laughs> Good son. Ever felt lost, confused, stuck in a loop? It's time to wake up. Nice. Give me this light. I guess I'm smiling. <laughs> uh, 
Give me that. Thank you. We're healed. Let's go. Sustainability. Keep me alive. Okay, where are we? Give me all the loot. Thank you. There's a lot of walking. Wish they could sprint a lot faster. I know, I agree. Yeah, I 100% in the first playthrough and some of the parts I was like, hurry up, Saga, run a little faster. Nice though, good work. Nice. Yeah, like RE, RE remake sprint speeds. Oh god. RE2 remake especially. Turns out the cultists weren't the only ones using the tunnels. Hidden graffiti signs marching secret routes. I kept hearing whispers around burn barrels of an underground society of mystic outsiders with hidden knowledge. <laughs> Typical New York. Have a shotgun because NG plus? Yes. You keep your weapons. What the heck is that? It's so cute. Ah! It's alive. I will show you. I can't see. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna live. I was just gonna say, yeah, it feels like it, this feels like an object of power. That looks like totally like an object of power. It could be. I do love seeing like rubber duckies in this game and little white Christmas trees. I forget what else. Refrigerators. Cause I always feel like it's object or altered item, I guess. Oh, this one's so finicky. to detect darkness projectiles increase damage words of fix increase max amount of health restored and safe havens restores a hundred percent of max health when a new word upon I didn't even have that unlocked at all what was I doing that was a good one ah such a nice sound Me too, ask. Scratch, return, scratch. Me too. Welcome. Are we good there? I didn't really even try to find everything. Oh, I did miss some word of power back there, but that's totally okay. I'm not, I'm not going as Hardcore as the first playthrough. I think it's all fine. It's Remedy Games. Historically, I was reading that's historically how they are, and it's like over time, it's fine. And it's like called classic type shit. It's not like Call of Duty 6. Whoa! Yegarn, just get it. Okay, we came out this door. What's that? Give me that. Will you 
just win real quick. Add. Oh, it broke. The wheel's broken. Well, <laughs> we'll have to do it after. <laughs> My wheel's broken. You broke it. I'm so sorry. Wait, you didn't even pick a number. Y'all don't follow directions sometimes. Should I go into the darkness? I'm just joking. Oh, that is so insane. The city was not real. I was limited to the confines of the dream. Oh my god, that just made me like... That was horrifying. Anyway, so true. I had to. I had to try. Freaky. Okay, we're back here now. Oh. So now. You say three? All right, at the end of stream, I got you. Um, collapse tunnel. Where? Now remember to use the torch bear, yeah. Why am I lost? What awards? Well, at Game of the or Game Awards, this one, art direction, narrative. Uh, I forget. Give me that. I want four lights. Am I doing torchbearer in the collapsed cave? Or at the... Okay. Oh, I must have... Does it trigger that crazy thing? Like, the crazy shit that happens? And then I couldn't do it? Because it was like... Everything was scary? And I have to run away? Is that why? <laughs> Art narrative and game direction. Yeah. Shake, thanks for 77. Yeah, and that's fine. <laughs> the ritual triggers the next part, that makes sense. Okay, torch bearers. The plot changes. The torch bearers painted the tree there. I miss the tree this. of knowledge. The tree of life with its roots reaching down to hell. Maybe Yggdrasil? It could have been a Christmas tree for all the good it did him. <laughs> Maybe the tree of Yggdrasil? Oh my gosh. Thank you so much. Seems familiar. Thank you. I figured there had to be. The drifters had scrawled their symbol on the wall. A secret for those in the know. Wait, why is that familiar? Why do I know that? I love how golden that is. Ramalmic one? That's what I thought. Is that what the Lady of Light drew? Like with her arrows? Yeah, okay. I was like, I know that symbol. <gasps> cool. Awesome. Oh my gosh. Okay, thank you, good. So we did it. So then that should be everything. I looked at all the other ones in the first playthrough, right? Where's the box? You're lying to me. Don't you lie to me. I went the wrong way. But where are the 
dark. Oh, there's pizza. You were right. There's pizza here. It's just got a little. Just pick that mold off. It's fine. I'm gonna. I'm going to. Quick save real quick. But then it might save anyway. Oh, wait. I don't even know where the quick save is. Eh, it's fine. I won't die. That's so cool. Thank you so much. I couldn't hear the dark presence. It was gone. <sighs> so freaky. Ugh. The tunnel was open now. What? Shit. What? I don't remember that. <laughs> I don't remember coming out again. <laughs> Stop jogging, looking back. Look forward. The dark presence. I had seen it before. I remembered now. It was always out there, hunting me. Jog, Alan, jog. <laughs> hunting you. Trying to get in your mind, trying to get you to hate yourself and dig inside of all the darkness and the horrible things about you. all right whoa cool overlapping overlapping okay yeah so then this is how okay yeah 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 we've seen saga's area the murder site so it's all just to find our way i found the murder site somehow the victim's heart was the key we see overlap from the real world like Saga could see the overlap to this world. Something had shifted. I felt an overwhelming closeness to home. An FBI agent? Who are you? What is this? Who are you? She can hear me. I'm Saga Anderson, FBI. Oh, yeah. This is Alan Wake. I'm trapped here. The dark place. Under Cauldron Lake. Not Cauldron Lake. Where are you? I'm trying to escape. I'm making progress, but I'm in danger. The dark presence. Help me. Please, help me. Okay, so they both have to I could sense it. The same first message. I was closer to home. Had the woman in the vision helped me somehow? Something had changed outside Parliament Tower, where I had lived with Alice. It was out there. 
waiting for me. Oh, I was just gonna say, is the end of the part in the next part, or? Is end of chapter soon, like, in the apartment? I can't remember. Okay, so that first, their first overlap was the same. That, like, that's cool. Okay. I didn't remember. I wasn't sure. Apartment then? Should I just do that? I might just do that. I can see there. But you don't see me anywhere. I'm right in front of you. I'm right here. Yeah, I listened to a bunch of her songs the other day. And Poets of the Fall. What are you looking at? Is it your face on a pane of glass? Somehow this window becomes a trap. On this winding road. Will it ever let me go? Forever I am. Oh, I love it. That's so cool. Circling back just to fall into this trap. This winding road. Is the next part, like the apartment part, is it short? I feel like it is. I can't remember what, which, like, I think it's when we go in there. I mean, obviously it's when we go in there first, but is that when? I think it's short. I'm going to do that. Oh, the song short too. Hi, Bungled. Welcome. Oh, thank you so much for watching there and for saying hi. I appreciate that. Hello. Thank you and welcome. Rest in peace, Nightingale. Yeah, you just go up and like, yeah, that's what I thought. I want to see Alice. Whoa. Who was riding who? The Who was writing this poem? Of the Me? First word. No. The writer of the first word, not the writer of the last, with the terror of the light and the shadows cast, the third eye now open to project the night. This is the moment to write. This is the ritual to lead you on. Your friends will meet him when you are gone. <laughs> That's, so that's what forms what the pages were all scratched. Yeah, all the unscratched words, exactly. From the station part with all the papers up. So cool. I hear like Casey's voice echoing. Oh, yep. <laughs> Stepping to the murder site, I'd felt it hanging in the air. A meaning, the violent emotion of the act. Like a cloud of wrath, the dead eyes of the victim staring at something you couldn't see, and yet making you aware of it. Something had soaked into this place on a molecular level, overlapping with your meaningless existence. Regression to something you had managed to forget. Marking you. Taking you for a ride. Making you crazier. <laughs> so dramatic. Go on then. I thought you were gonna slam it open. This winding road. So cool. We get this one. No. Get that real quick. Oh wait, did I get it? I don't think I did. Wait, apparently. Did I run over here and get it? No, I knew I didn't. I knew I did not. Don't you try to lie to me. Hand flare, trauma pads, duration of painkillers. Why not? Words, words of gun. Uh, knockback? Sure. Alright, Alan. Let's go to your house. I don't think we need to check any of the different 
scenes in this. Oh, we can't anyway anymore. It's over. We can't change the scene now. Whoa, laggy. The station had changed. I was closer now. Oh. TV? Wait, are they fake? I have... Oh wait, no, I only have four lights. Did I use one of them? Oh. Is there a door here? We're here. Whoa. Parliament Tower. Our home in New York. Was I really this close to being home? Going up to our apartment? Would I be home? Sure. Or was this just an echo of the real thing? Even then, the murder site had brought me one step closer to escape. Yeah, I was gonna say, I'm a, a light hoarder, apparently. And an everything hoarder, y'all know me. Nothing new here. I like that car. Alice? What? Hello? In loving memory. Time loses meaning here. Evaluate. How long have I been trying to escape? An author long and. Long enough for Alice to think I'm dead. 1977, 2010, an author and a husband. Not a great one. Just an author and a husband, you know? <laughs> he is one the of those. The payphone at the edge of the plaza was ringing again. <laughs> Hello? Return, scratch, don't write. Hey, Alan. Thank God it picked up. I thought I lost you again. Who are you? Why are you helping me? Did you go deeper? To the Oval app? Are you talking about the murder site? Yeah, I, I did. I, I... That's fantastic, Alan. We're closer to getting out. We're making progress. Well, we would be if you would answer my damn questions. Last time we spoke, you were pretty worried about Alice. Did you ever check Parliament Tower? To make sure she really got out of the dark place? Well, of course she got out. That's yeah. why I'm here. That's the whole goddamn point. So true. Be very oh. careful, Alan. The dark presence is stealing from you. It can already manifest as your double. Scratch will come. Wait, wait, hello? She did get out. Don't mess with my mind. This game is a treat. God of War Valhalla DLC was a treat. This game is a treat. We're just being treated. Just being treated. The dark place. The dark place. The dark place. The writer. The writer. Maybe he was a victim. The cult using his words. Or. Maybe he was the monster behind it all. Either way, Alice Wake, his ex, she knew things. It was there in her art for all to see. A cry for help. The darkness she'd witnessed. And that put her in danger. Was Alice here? In the story? just so pretty it just is jump scare oh it's just a picture Alan. oh alice what was that like a ray of warm light i felt her presence it gave me strength to go on oh i don't remember that that's new! Oh. My wife. My wife. Sorry. My wife. 
<laughs> sorry, Borat came through. That's my scratch. Well, way to ruin it. I'm sorry, blame Borat. Cameras. <gasps> Wee! Oh my god! I knew it was! Stop it. That's not how he died, Alice's that's how he got released from the... Set to go off when the door opens. I mean, technically kind of how he dies, but getting shot with the light bullet is how he's released from the... from the loop of the spiral, you know? From the... from the mind erasure of the... of the spiral. Oh, get out! Leave me alone! Alice! Alice! Gorgeous. I want these closets. I want to marry a successful writer. Who has lots of money. Who can buy me closets like this. Every girl's dream. <laughs> Alice. Pick photos for exhibition posters. This is a photo of Scratch. Well, you're How did Alice get this? Newsflash. You're Is he stalking her? You're him. He's you. You're him. Newsflash, Alan. So cool, so cool, so cool, so this cool. This is the door to my study. So cool, so cool. Where I wrote my books. So cool, so cool. The symbol wasn't here before. The fact that that's just in control the whole time and just... That's just, it's just, it's just there the whole time and we just didn't even know. I love it. Love it. Love it so much. We just didn't even know, you know? To the extent. And these built-ins, gorgeous. Gorgeous. Focal point. Oh yeah, there were so many hype. Video art doc on screen, multiple focal points on the dark place. And these cabinets. Oh, they have great taste. Alice has great taste. Part one. Part one. What was Alice working on? And their plants. So cute. Alice, what were you working on, huh? Oops. Oops. When I was younger, photography was everything to me. I moved to New York thinking I'd make it as an artist. And then I met Alan. We had a good thing. We were both dedicated by our creative ambitions. The only difference was that Alan's work made money. He brought me work when he could. I took his promo shots, um, created covers for his books. I'm sure he forced his publisher into it. I was taking photos, just not my photos. And that gnawed at me. Things got complicated sometimes, but that's life, right? We loved each other. Then Alan hit a block. brought out a meaner side of him, one I didn't like. I set up a trip to see a doctor in Washington. I didn't tell him until we got there. We argued. Things went wrong. And he was just gone. Drowned, allegedly. Easy for people to think it was my fault. 
Mm. Hell, I do too sometimes. About six years ago, I started hearing noises in the night. Typewriter keys clacking. Creepy. Voices. Alan was back. Well, haunting well. me. And it got violent. It was Alan. And yet, it was a monster. Exactly. He always did have anger in him. True. That's why the dark presence chose him. I set up cameras around the apartment. With motion sensors and flashes. Now, when the monster comes, I turn it into art. My nightmares caught on film. And this is the focus of my new exhibition. To show people okay. the world is so much darker than they ever knew. Hi, kitty. I'm calling this exhibit the dark place. Well, this is literally well, this the best. Scratch was terrorizing her. Why? Ba -da -da. Wait, I forget what part this is. This is a Wii thing, right? No, because the Wii thing was after I was Saga and then I switched back. Did I get everything here? I've been reading so much too about like why, like how Alan is obviously like a flawed guy. Like he's not a perfect person. Like he has obviously has negative traits, and that's like how why the dark presence can like feed off of him, and because he's so artistic too. Because that's like a big part of it too is the the artist and the flawedness, and just like scratched just all the negative. sat in the writer's room and wrote a story, initiation, to project myself through the dark place to look for a way out. The story had brought me here, brought me nowhere, looped me back. I was writing this story, and in the story I now stepped into the writer's room. <laughs> so cool. But there was no one here writing. Nice. Okay, that's probably a good place to stop then. That's so cool. Understanding it better and playing it again is just so cool because I can just calm down and notice things and not be like, what the F the whole time. I'm only like, what the heck a little bit, you know? Because I'm still sometimes like, what the heck? Ah, oh, so good. I can see you there, but you don't see me anywhere. I'm right in front of you, I'm right here. On this moment in the world. Even 
Alice said Scratch what was Alan but a monster. Hi, Tiggy. Don't turn off my computer, please. Let me go forever I am. This calm part when it's on? Really? Oh, okay. I couldn't remember. Forever I am. Because I think we switched back to Saga now. Right? I think it goes. Because that was like the end of a loop. Yeah, I think we do. And then we have the option to go in the bucket. And I'm probably gonna do... I don't know what I'm gonna do. We're probably gonna go through the thing. Yeah, exactly. I'm gonna wait till it's saved. Oh, because technically it's green, right? Oh, that was so fun. Boing. I love it. That was good. Good progress. Thanks for helping me find little bits that I missed. That, okay, my favorite part of today was the story on the tiles, on the tile wall. That was heartbreaking and super cool <laughs> and beautiful. So thank you for that. Thanks everyone for being here and thank you for watching on YouTube later. Um, I... So you'll miss that? Yeah, I did. And then it's like obvious when you see it changing and you're like following it once you once you know, obviously. I am not sure if I'm going to bonus stream on Thursday or not. I'll let y'all know on Discord, but I'll definitely be on on Friday. So I'll be on Friday, Saturday, Sunday. We'll do a little Christmas Eve stream and then I'm off for a few days. Um, but I'll let you know later i'm not i don't actually know for sure yet if i can or not so i'll plan to see you all friday i'll let you know though but thank you so much yeah sounds good bungled thank you again for taking the time to come in here thanks for watching on youtube everybody and just for being here live on twitch thanks for the support thanks again coda and thanks everybody michael thanks for those bits and thanks for hanging out See y'all later. See you Friday. All right. Thank you. Bye.